Hello, this is the Toucan Guy here doing a commentary for the uh, Star Wars mod for Call of Duty 4. And, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. This is a old game. I'm just trying to get rid of it here. Um, and this is probably my favorite thing about COD 4, though, the, uh, the mods. So, I mean, the Star Wars mod is pretty epic in the... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of what other mods are. Well, obviously there's pro mod, there's a zombie mod. Don't really like the zombie mod all that much, or pro mod, but I love the, uh, Star Wars mod. If only more people would play it. So. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I, uh, recently bought a, uh, new game for my Kinect. Yeah, Michael Jackson dancing game. It's pretty epic and awesome. I also bought a uh, a new time card for a while. The uh, Michael Jackson game on Connect is pretty epic. It's awesome. And if you do happen to want to get that game, Michael Jackson one. Buy it at Walmart, because then you get an extra song for download. Yeah. It's worth buying it at Walmart. And the game is just awesome. And if you don't believe me, watch Angry Joe's review. It's awesome. Yeah. Just, just down, just go out and buy it. And get a connect. It's one of the better games on Connect, along with the Gun Stringer and Fruit Ninja Connect. That was probably my favorite Connect games: uh, Michael Jackson, The Experience, The Gun Stringer, and Fruit Ninja. They are the better ones because, uh, well, Fruit Ninja it's a lot of fun. The Gun Stringer, it's it's, a, it's also a lot of fun, and you don't really have to move around all that much, and it comes with a free download for Fruit Ninja Connect. Well, that's if you can find a retail copy for it. If you can't, you'll have to download it off Xbox Live Arcade, so... Because I bought the retail copy, I got a free download for Fruit Ninja Connect. Huh. <coughs> I actually have not played my Xbox in like forever. And I I recently ordered in off Amazon a new shell for my wireless controller. And I also ordered in a uh, a new battery pack. So Yeah, I the I ordered in a new rechargeable battery pack for my controller, so now my con my Xbox controller will have a crystal clear shell and a and a rechargeable battery pack. And if you do in fact get an Xbox controller like a black one, I suggest buying a white battery case for the fact that the black ones they're they're really loose in the controller. If you shake the controller at all, then it turns off because it loses connection with the batteries. So, in a commentary for a mod for Call of Duty 4 on the PC, I'm telling you about Xbox stuff. This makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, it does. And Star Wars The Old Republic is on sale. Like I said in the last commentary, it's on sale. You know, uh, I, I'm not going to get it. I'm probably going to buy it. Like, I don't know. Probably over the summer. I don't know. Eh, I'm actually not too sure if I'm going to get it at all, really. Because, I mean, M Mop is coming out. Mop, Miss Prendere. So, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. And, uh, oh. Yeah, um...
Apparently there's gonna be a bell from three. The studio who was working on it. Um dropped it. Apparently now there's no one working on it. I really hope that they finally find Shark Studio 4 and they make a good game out of it. But I can just tell they're not gonna be able to make as good as <coughs> oh. They won't be able to make games as good as what Pandemic did with the Battlefront series. I mean, Pandemic, they were probably one of my favorite developers, and... Oh, they just made awesome games, but then EA bought them. They made the Saboteur and the Lord of the Rings Conquest, and they got shut down. Which is kind of sad. Because they were truly my favorite developer, because they made some of my favorite games. Battlefront series, and Republic Commando. Those were some of my favorite games. So, yeah. well, I hope they finally find a good studio to make Battlefront 3. And hopefully it's a lot like the uh, other two games. Because, uh, well, you don't want a Battlefront game that's absolutely nothing like Battlefront. That would just be completely horrible. It was, if it's absolutely nothing, that would kind of... nothing like it kind of suck. <sighs> I'm just taking a sip of water here. Um, if you do in fact have Call of Duty 4 though, I highly, I highly suggest downloading this mod. I could probably find it by Google searching Star Call of Duty 4 Star Wars mod. I'm not too sure what the actual correct name is for him. I think it's like a. Well, actually, I'm not, still not too sure. I'm just gonna Google. I'm gonna Google search it here. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, find it. The actual name. It is called uh, Call of Duty 4 Star Wars Mod Galactic Warfare. So. That's good that it actually has like a full name. Which is uh... Which is pretty... And I might also upload Two videos today, like what I did yesterday. But, uh, yeah, right now though, I'm just trying to get rid of the longer gameplays, so it'll get in, so it'll open up more space, my hard drive, be able to make, we'll record more gameplays, like uh, gameplays for Super Monday Night Combat and other recently, other games I recently bought. Maybe Dark Forces, Doom, might be able to record some WoW stuff, like a, I don't know, maybe a Battleground session, or, well, I don't know, probably be some PvP, probably not a dungeon room, because those can, they take uh, about half an hour, so, well, that's probably the shortest time it would take, is about half an hour, but, uh, PvP sessions can go pretty long too and well, but uh, I'm not really too sure what I'd be recording, but well, yeah. Also, there's the fact that in well, I'm a healer and wouldn't be too much action going on. But, um. Yeah. Still not too sure what to talk about though right now. Um, mm. I guess hopefully I'll be able to uh, buy a computer that uh, Halo 2 will work on it without getting blue screened. Hopefully. Because uh, Halo 2 is also one of my favorite games. So. I have I have a few games I just really like. Halo 2 is one of them. I mean, I don't really like Halo Reach all too much. I I sort of liked Halo 3, but 
Well, I played Halo 3 before Halo 2, which was uh, probably a mistake. Like, the order I played in was Halo 3, Halo 1, Halo 2, and then Reach. My favorite is still Halo 2. I mean, it it's just so much fun. I mean, the multiplayer too was it was just so fun, especially with the uh, big team battle uh, matchmaking thing. I actually do have Halo 2 for the PC, but uh, but yeah, I kind of blue screened my computer and managed to uh. Three and to uh, restore the computer. That was actually a while ago. So, and then blue screen my computer and crap. It was basically gone for a while. So, really, I just have it in my desk drawer, just sitting there, waiting until I get a computer that will be able to properly play the game without getting blue screened. Because, really, the way Halo 2 works. In, on the PC is you install it, it runs, you ch you uh, closed out because you're tired of playing it for a while. Go do something else. You come back. You go to play it, and it doesn't work. What happened was there was a patch for it that just completely screwed it over. Like it doesn't support the new Windows Live. It only sports Windows Live that came with Halo 2. So if you have Windows Live installed, you have to uninstall all of your games. You have to install uninstall Windows Live. And then you have to install Halo 2 with Windows Live on it. Just, it just takes a while. So... If you actually have never played Halo 2 and you can find a copy, I... Highly suggest picking up Halo 2 on the PC though. When I did have it on the PC though, like when I had it working, I used the Xbox controller, which is probably a mistake because, well, right, right now, uh, I just love the like, keyboard and mouse controls because it just gives you a lot more precision with the uh, aiming. But with the Xbox controller, there's just auto aiming. A lot. I mean, you just look in some general direction, and then all of a sudden, your your aim is just moving, so it's like directly, like on target. And then you just shoot, and then you just shoot a few times, and boom, they're dead because there's just so much auto aim. And I don't think there's an option to turn off the auto aim, which kind of sucks. I usually, I mean, even when I play games on a, on consoles, I usually turn the auto aim off. For the fact that, well, really, that's not even me aiming. That's just the computer aiming for me, which I don't really like that happen when I'm playing games. I hate it when you, there's no option to turn it off. Like, uh, like in GoldenEye on the Wii, if you use the classic controller, there's no way to turn off auto aim. Well, there's no way to turn off auto aim, period. And I can see why I don't want to use if you're using the uh, nunchuck and Wii controller or the Wii zapper. I can see why you don't want to use auto aiming because it's like impossible to aim like that, especially in the multiplayer. I mean, there's just a clear advantage to anyone who use who uses the Classic Controller, Classic Controller Pro, or the GameCube controller. I mean, there's just a big advantage to whoever can use that. And it well, just sucks the fact that there's a huge advantage. So, yeah, this gameplay is starting to come to an end. There's like two minutes left. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. But, uh, after this, I'm probably going to continue watching the Puma Man or just make another video. Because the Puma Man is just an awesome movie. It's just 
epic. You should watch it if you can find it. Like I said, it's on YouTube. And, um, yeah, this has come to an end. After the uh, time for the game actually runs out, it goes to the title screen and stuff. I'm, I'm just going to stop there. So, and that's not really much. Um, if you have Call of Duty 4, I highly suggest downloading this mod. And if you can find a good server for it. I mean, it's not worth down buying Call of Duty 4 on the PC 4 for the fact that not very many people play it. So I have this from the Toolkin guy here, and yeah, see you.